Hey everyone, let's talk about the singular and extraordinary adventure of Moira and Goliath by Ishbel B. First of all, let's talk about the cover. Isn't that beautiful? I just wanted to have it for the cover and I heard it's with time travel and Victorian era, so I couldn't resist. The story is complicated to summarize. I'll give you the basic details. It's Goliath, who's a policeman, and he saves Myrrha from her grandfather. And then things happen and they need to fix things to make them all right again. What is really amazing about this novel is that the story takes a long time to unfold or rather to be clear and obvious and take place because it's not told straightforward, but back and forth in different months, different points of the story, different times of the story, and also in different perspectives. We get points of view from almost all the characters that are involved in the story at some point and we get their story and then we have to put it together puzzle-like to come to the full story. And I loved how that was done. It was really well done. You really got into the characters and followed the story. At some point you were ahead in the story and then you jumped back and you understood how something led to something else that you already knew. I really enjoyed that. The story is mainly set in 1887 and 1888 and it contains fantastic and magical elements. And these are so amazingly intricate in the story that they just feel normal. And sometimes you wonder like, what is going on? But that's more at other points, to be honest. There is a lot of violence in this story and it just seems to be matter of fact and it happens and it's like, okay, now we have to deal with that. And it's rather weird. There's especially this one character who keeps just killing people and it's normal. And he says like, yeah, I got to do that. It was a favor for you or something like that. And I love that. It was weird. It's kind of gory, but not too gory to be disgusting. I don't know how else to say that. The book is rather fascinating. The way it's written is fascinating. The story is really creative. I liked it. And it was a lot of fun to read. You can just fly through the book. I just read it in a few days. Oh, and there was one thing that I wasn't sure what to do with it. Because in the beginning of the story, I had the feeling that there were articles missing, like little words. And I wasn't really sure if it was part of the narration, but then it petered out and I thought it was maybe part of the editing. So I'm not really sure what that is about. So if you have noticed that too, just let me know what your thoughts are on that one. And if you have read the book, let's talk about the book. And if you haven't, just pick it up. It's a lot of fun. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye bye. And in case you're wondering about the weird angle, it's basically to pretend that I'm not living in total chaos right now.